Hey folks, here we are. We're up on the roof. We're doing a panel install. So far I've got three panels on. These are 330 watt Trinia solar. 330 watt panels. Open voltage is about 45, 46 roughly. I put all the rails on. It's a little bit hard to film up here because I am so not coordinated when it comes to walking on a roof and it's a long way down. Uh, so I put one down that end and measured in from the, the end of the shed uh, equal measurement and up from the gutter line equal measurement and I come down the same to the same down this end so I just ran a string line through that yellow line along that edge so they will end up nice and straight which is good so I'm just working on these four at the moment so as for wiring them up I'm not an expert believe me so don't go off what I say I'm just going off what I'm have been told to do. These two panels will go positive to negative and then I'll have two leads coming out and then those next two will go positive to negative and then I join the two pluses together and the two negatives together with little uh, junction connectors. So that's it. I'll keep trying to film a bit as we go. So I'll give you a little view around. Yeah, that's it. Enjoy it, folks. Today we're putting some more solar panels up on the roof. First step is to clean them off because they're quite dusty as they've been in storage for a while. Okay, so here we are up on the roof. Uh, it's a little bit awkward to film, so we haven't got that much footage of us putting these on. But they're pretty basic, they're just solar panels on solar rail. And they have these special little clips, and they just screw into the rail and clamp the panels down. So we've got, uh, how many is that? 12 on <coughs> so far. These are 330 watt panels. They're approximately two meters by a meter. Uh, they're facing exactly north. So hopefully they'll be uh, give us some good results. Now we're just gonna, gonna put a little bit of flashing on the other side of the shed here before we put these next panels on. So we'll just get into that and then uh, we'll catch up in a bit. We're in their little battery room and I've just got to make up some a little uh, few leads with MC4 connectors on. So an MC4 connector is your standard solar panel connector. Comes in male and female. So we just got to get the cable, uh, expose some of the cable back and then we get this little 
connect a bit and we crimp it on with the uh, got the little MC4 connector in here so it does 2.5 mil 4 mil and 6 mil and you basically just put them in there and you crimp them up nice and tight and that's how you connect them so I'll try and do one for you so I don't have wire strippers but I'm pretty confident with the pliers alright people may be horrified I'll get over it so I'll do a bit of that so I've got the wire <coughs> exposed I grab my connector which has like a little gland hang on, inside it for weatherproofing so I make sure that that's all together I put that through the cable so we've got the nut bit that does up we've got the gland which um, compresses around the cable to make it watertight we grab our little uh, metal part of the connector I like to give it a little squeeze just to bring these two things a little bit further together slide the cable in I always butt the connector up to the plas the plastic coating. See that like that? Then we get our little crimping tool, put it in the right size one. It's actually a little bit finicky, but there we go. Okay, so we're in. Wires pushed up. We crimp it down. Give it a squeeze. and you end up with a beautiful little crimp then just check it, have a look, make sure it's looking pretty good yep, looks alright grab my little socket now this will click in there we go and it helps it so it won't come out and then we just do up the the nut and the gland or the gland and the nut I like to make them nice and tight and that's it and then this is a little uh, jumper cable from one side from one uh, connection to another so we need to put a the opposite plug on the other end and you think I could open this plastic bag but So it's the exact same deal, it's just this plug is like a male version of the plug as opposed to the other one. So they just can, they just clip on when they join together. And you've got another um, metal connector that goes inside it. So we just strip the wire, there we go. Unscrew my connector, push the gland and the nut part over the cable, get my little metal part of the, I don't actually know what that particular part is called, and then I get the, this is always a little bit tricky for me, trying to get the, uh, here we go, so you can see we've got it this is 4mm, so I'm using the 4mm one. <coughs> you can see we've got it in the in the jaws ready to go. I'll just clamp, push that in, make sure there's no little straggler wires. And then we clamp it up nice and tight. Hopefully you can see that. Looks pretty good. Yep, looks lovely. And same thing, this has got little barbs on it, so it'll click in to the, there we go, click. And then the gland, whoop, the little rubber glandy bit 
goes in and then you do up the nut there we go done so we got male and female one end this is the female that's the male and uh, I just need to make one more of these and then we'll get back up on the roof good morning here we are we're up on the scaffold and I'm about to get onto the roof to connect all these uh, solar panels these four together and these four together so we've got our 16 panels up and mounted i get a little bit of a view back here I basically have these little little connectors little brackets and they clip onto the cable like so and then they just clip underneath on the edge of the solar panel so what I'm going to do is just connect these panels up and then just use these clips to clip the cables up so they're not touching on the roof and then uh, we'll drill in some deck tights and run a conduit through each one and that will go right up the top of the roof up there. All your silicon on, watertight, 